Welcome back to Metro Gamer 7 Sons Apprentice, and so today we're going to be looking at some new Studio Series reveals, which uh, came out at this one convention in Mexico, I think. So, first, right, so this is the first image, and this is um, new Bumblebee. So this is a new mold. Um, it's the 2000 Camaro, Seven Camaro, but it's the other, the second one he skinned. So, this is pretty cool. The legs are obvious. You, like you can see, the main difference are in the legs. The arms seem to just be standard Bumblebee. His backpack doesn't seem too intrusive. I hope it tucks away like the MPM and the last night Bumblebee. But I like how the wheels are on the like, outside of the leg this time. And I just like it. There's a lot of silver paint on this, which I think there's a bit much. Like, I would prefer for it to be a bit more of a, like, a gunmetal gray. Because I think that just fits better. But I don't, I'm not complaining on this, so, about it, though. So, yeah. So, here's his vehicle mode. And I, they really went all out with this, the paint on this guy. I think, like, part of it's just because Bumblebee and Optimus Prime and Megatron Starscream, those are, like, their flagships, so... Yeah, so he has really nice painted rims. I'm probably not going to get this guy. I, I don't need another Bumblebee. I already have the Bumblebee movie, Bumblebee, and so that's going to suffice with me for, for, for me. So, that suffice me for now. But the vehicle mode does look really cool. I like the detailing and then the nice Chevrolet logo. And the paint looks really nice. I like this. Okay, so here we get into a three-pack, and this is of the RC Sisters. And so... God, what just happened with my tongue? Okay, so these are going to come in a three-pack. All of these are deluxe prices. These are all $20. So Bumblebee's $20. RC three-pack is going to be $20. So I don't actually know which sister this is because I don't know any of the sisters. I don't really care because, honestly, for me with the sister's designs, is I like the idea of having wheels for feet and then them just rolling around. But I don't really like the whole, like, Motorcycle parts just hanging off of them. It looks like... Because, honestly, to me, it looks like somebody actually made, like, a nice-looking robot. And they glued it together. But they used Elmer's school glue. So then... They just... It, so it all f fell apart. And then when they put it back together... It was just, like, a hodgepodge of a mess. And they're just not touching it. Because it's gonna just get destroyed if they do. If they blow on it. But yeah, it's a weird description. So over here is more pictures of the same figure. And you can see in this picture that they it comes she comes with the stand. So that's cool. And what else is kinda cool is I guess um that like exhaust cannon. But that's more of the actual design. So this is a motorcycle mode, and so some people don't like a few of the motorcycle modes, like, oh, maybe they just, like, don't like this motorcycle. This mode. I personally don't see too much of a problem with any of them. I like them all, to be honest. Well, I don't, like, care for them, but, like, they're all, they all seem pretty cool. So, these are going to be pretty small because that's just good in movie scale, and then it'll just scale well with the rest of the Studio Series figures. All right, so here's a new one. So, uh, this one, I like the wheel a bit more. And so this one has the whole seat of the motorcycle hanging off her hand. Okay, right, so I don't think any of these motorcycle figures look bad. The reason I don't care for these just I don't care for the design. But they're very faithful and accurate to the design. So I think so I consider that as them doing a great job in designing. So this figure is so basically like this isn't my cup of tea, but like if this is yours, yeah. So um this motorcycle is a different style of motorcycle and I like that. It's pretty cool. And, yeah, so, so there's definitely good paint on these figures, too. And then the third one. So, these, remember, these, so these three all come in a three-pack. So, this one has a whole lot of his arm. <laughs> anyway, so, this one also, once again, looks nice. All of these figures, I think, are molded and designed well. I just don't actually care for the designs they're designed off of. But, if, like, what they're going for is fate, being, trying to be faithful to the design. So... If these figures look bad, to be honest, it's just because the design, in my opinion, looks bad. So, these figures are pretty good. Motorcycle. Oh, freak. <laughs> so, motorcycle. It's just standard motorcycle. There's nothing wrong with it. I, I like it, I guess. Um. So, yeah, moving on. I like how the wheels are painted. This is the figure I'm most excited for. 
This is Dark of the Moon Soundwave, and I'm so excited for this. I cannot contain it. The I don't really like Laser Beak. Like I'm glad that he's gonna be included, but I don't. I, I don't know. I just don't like it. Like the paint is bad, and then I don't feel like the wings are like too accurate because, like, there's a the whole turbine thing. But whatever. Anyway, Soundwave looks really cool. I love the whole. I love Soundwave design in the movies, and. Uh, he had like the wheels and everything where the wheel, the wheel placement and so in the Dark of the Moon toy, toy line the last wave of figures didn't get released in the US because it was getting it was it, it was being out competed by Pro Transformers Prime toy line so basically these the uh, Sunday figure only released in Japan so it will, you had to pay pay like crazy prices to import it here so yeah, so I was looked into getting that imported, but it was just too much. So, <laughs> yeah, but these guys look really cool. Um, so this is the figure I'm most excited for. This is probably something I'm definitely going to get. Hopefully. <laughs> but, I don't, I'm, by the way, I, I'm not too keen on the RC sisters. Anyways, so this is the vehicle mode. It's Mercedes Benz. That's cool. What I hope in, I don't... I don't think this is going to be the case, but, uh, if Laserbeak could store in his vehicle mode, um, maybe, maybe not. And you know what else would be cool, actually? I just, this thought just came into my mind. If the way Laserbeak attached, attached, used the same port system as how Igor attached to Megatron in the Dark of the Moon Leader Class Megatron figure. This video is getting way too long. Anyways, this is the figure that I care for the least. This is just a remold, repaint, and um, so it's a remold of the World War II Bumblebee. And I actually like this guy better than World War II Bumblebee, but that doesn't mean I like this guy. <laughs> Once again, he has the same flaws as World War II Bumblebee: the giant backpack, a bit of kibble on the inside of his legs, but I can forgive that. I actually really like his leg design, World War Two Bumblebees, but yeah. And but honestly, I don't know why. I just like this guy more than the World War Two Bumblebee. I really like his gun. That looks really cool. But so that's how he looked in the concept art. But in the concept art, he was a lot slimmer. Well, it wasn't concept art. He was in the movie, in the model. But like, yeah. This is how his vehicle mode looks. Once again, so, okay, nice paint, everything. Okay, so once again. Uh, I forgot to mention something about Soundwave. I don't like his paint. Wow, that was just jumping around. <laughs> I was paint. He, he doesn't. He isn't silver, which I'm kind of. Oopsie. Okay. <laughs> he isn't silver, but he's like this shiny gray, like this gray with a uh, sheen to it, and I'm a bit disappointed about that because. Like, there were so many, so, so many silver, so much silver on the RC sisters and Bumblebee. I'm pretty sure the, like, the stand is silver. But, they, like, there was no silver on Soundwave. Like, I have this, like, part of me just suspects that, like, they have, like, an overall budget. And then they just invest some of it into one figure and then, like, the rest into, divide the rest up in between the rest of the figures. But, like, whatever. I mean, you get what you get. It's still a look good looking figure. Anyway, so the difference between the vehicle mode of this and Bumblebee movie, not Bumblebee movie, World War II Bumblebee, is um, aside from the paint, obviously, the gun. Because this, obviously, with the new gun, it pegs in. It still pegs in the same way, but it's like a new gun. So it also integrates into the vehicle mode just like the hammer. So that's cool. So these are this, the CGI right. God dang it, I can't speak. Yes to the CGI renders. So once again, these are, like, I don't care for these. These are cool looking figures. Like, I think the designer should really, uh, did a really good job. And over here, you can actually see the uh, middle one stand, which wasn't there in the other pictures. I don't know what this one stand is going to be. Maybe it's going to have, like, a built-in one, but I don't really know. Nor do I care. <laughs> so once again, this guy is just basic. He's just a repaint. There's nothing really special about him. He has a new head sculpt, but, like, that looks fine. And I also like the molding. I don't know why. I just think this works better for Hot Rod. Even though it's still, like, not physique. So this I'm really excited for. And one thing I didn't touch on. I'm not going to get this guy, but, okay. But one thing I didn't touch on is his weapons and things. So 
and part of the new mold is this. All right, so in the recent Bumblebee molds, which I'll use the last night Bumblebee mold, um, the you ripped off his arm and replaced it with the gun. But in this one, apparently the gun slides over his hand, which I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, what? Pretty cool. But one thing we don't know yet is if that battle mask will have battle mask will. God dang it, battle mask. <laughs> His the battle mask will have an alternative, so you can have normal Bumblebee face. Cause we genuinely haven't seen any pictures um that don't. Because, like, I'm hoping that he doesn't have to have the battle mask. Cause honestly, that's just not my thing. Um, so maybe they'll do the thing where it just slides to the top of his head, or they'll do more of what Bumblebee movie Bumblebee did, where you just can rip off his face panel. Like, there's, like, a panel on his face that you can remove, and that... Well, no, you can rip remove his face and replace that with a battle mask. Once again, everything looks nice. The vehicle mode looks really shiny, but that's probably just because it's CGI render, so... Once again, Soundwave looks awesome, and still disappointed about the paint, but... At least his wheels are painted, so, yeah. I feel like there should be more paint in his arms, because I, like, at least, like, I don't know, paint his hands gray or something. <laughs> I mean, not gray, paint his hands gray. Paint his hands black or something. Or, like, have some detail on the speakers, but whatever. And, once again, laser beak I don't really like, but I'm not complaining. So, then over here, this is the, um, on-display images of Bumblebee. So... I'm hoping that the chest is mistransformed, formed, and I'm 99% sure the chest is really mistransformed. And actually, one thing I realized is he has fake stripes on his chest in the middle. And yeah, the whole I'm pretty sure the whole middle of his chest is fake. I might be wrong on that, don't quote me. Um, so Bumblebee's figures, most of them, oh, also even the second wings aren't folded down. This is definitely mistransformed, but, um... One thing that I don't like is that, so all Bumblebee figures, like most Bumblebee figures, their wheels flip back, the their front wheels, and so that's sort of emulates movie accuracy because that's where the wheels did end up there, except for there was always just a bit of car cable, but it didn't really matter because it was just a little bit. But if you look behind his arms, that's a giant chunk of car, car mass that's just accumulated by the wheels, so whatever, you get what you get. So here's some better images of Sandwave. So, actually, now that I look at it, um, it's like less of a shiny gray, uh, like a uh, gray with a sheen to it, and more like a really drab silver. And I actually am kind of fine with that, to be honest. Like, it actually shows up really nice, um, looks really nice. And it's in, like, over here, because I actually kind of dig that. Like, it's, I would rather prefer, like, solid silver. I really expected solid silver, because um, that's what they did with Jazz and Sideswipe. But, whatever. Like, like you get what you get. <laughs> Once again. Okay, so this is just, I'm so excited for Soundwave, just looking at this image. His mouth is, his mouth kind of looks a bit weird, but it's growing on, it's growing on me. And when I say growing on me, it's less that I like it more, and more that I'm okay with it more. Anyways, so once again, he has the wheels on his shoulders, which I think is so cool. He, I'm pretty sure he has a fake chest, but the panels around his chest, those look really cool, so I'm really excited to see how his chest transforms. Anyways, once again, this is a vast improvement over the last Soundwave Deluxe figure we got. And the last figure, what happened was, he was really skinny. Not skinny, but like, his physique was wrong. And this, it's a lot better because he has a bit, like, bulky, sort of bulky legs. He uses his, like, stomping feet. And he's a lot wider, which, it, like, his, he's, like, his shoulder, his shoulder span is a lot bright, broader, which is accurate. There's some better images of the car mode. And once again, it has that sheen. And then these are the RC sisters, and once again, I couldn't care less. <laughs> but as always, I've said this like five times in this video. Like for what they're trying, like they're trying to emulate the movie designs, and they do a great job at that. So I can't complain too much. So here's more pictures. Oh, okay. So now we see the third one stand. So yeah, they all have individual stands. 
which is nice nice addition it's kind of like rampage which by the way i will be to, um, sometime soon i will be doing a review of um yeah studio series voyager rampage and long haul so expect that soon and so now we have hot rod this video is going on way too long <laughs> so now we have hot rod i think the paint looks a bit better like the silver highlights on here over here i like the silver highlights honestly if I were to get any of the two, I would just I would definitely get Hot Rod over Bumblebee. I don't know why, this just works for me better. But I, I, I really like that paint better, a lot better. I like the wearing in it. I, I just, this figure's really growing on me. <laughs> and then more over here. I wish they had a bit more of like a weathered effect, but it's actually, actually no, they did a pretty good job at weathering this. So, yeah. And then he has those silver highlights on the side. All right, so this is just uh, same. Way. Okay, so that's basically it. So leave your thoughts and what figure you're most excited for in the comments below, and tell me what you think about all of this. So this is Retro Gamer Seven Sounds Apprentice signing off. God thanks. This is video super.